Hello everyone, for today's video is I'm going to show you how to prepare and run a diesel generator number one with fuel changeover. So to start the simulation, I need to press Shift F1. You will have 30 minutes to fulfill the assessment. So we only have 30 minutes. Click OK. First is I'm going to check the seawater lines. And I'm going to make sure that this valve is open. And I can now go back to the diesel generator number one. I'm going to top up the expansion tank. Put the preheater on and put it in automatic. So we also have here a low level alarm or lube oil sump tank. I'm going to top it up. Same also on the starting air. We have low pressure. Let's see. We need to open this valve to normalize. So as of now, we are going to wait until this level of our sump tank will be normalized. And this is enough. We can now close it. Close also this one. We have an alarm. Press Shift F12 to silent. Let's see what is the alarm. So we have here Hydro 4 tank level low. So just acknowledge this one. Just disregard this because we cannot uh, access the system because we only have limited access on various systems only. Okay. So we are already finished lining up the seawater, the cooling and topping up of the lube oil of our sump tank we can now line up our lube oil run the priming pump and put it on automatic okay we need to line up as well the fuel oil system so i'm going to check the diesel oil line if all the valves are open going to our diesel generator number one same also to our fuel so so what you can see here this valve is closed so we need to open going to our dg1 open this shut of valve open this valve going to the filter okay so now we are already finished on the prefer preparation of our diesel generator number one we can now start it so make sure that this one is on local and click the start. Now it's running, put this one in remote, I'm going to the electric power plant and I'm going to switch on the voltage controller. We can see here that we have a non-essential uh, alarm on our diesel generator number two. So this means that uh, Diesel generator number two is not enough to support all the machineries on the ship. So therefore, some of the machineries are being tripped off. So we need to reset this one. There is an alarm. Click silent. So just disregard as well this hot water tank pressure low since we don't have access on this system. There is an alarm, alarm as well, I'll just acknowledge. So we have uh, HT. Uh, later on this one will normalize since our DG1 is already running. So now we need to put the DG1 
connected to the main bus bar. So in order to do that, we can use this semi auto Senkoscope. Click DG1 and click connect. Okay, now the diesel generator number one is now connected to our main bus bar. So unselect this DG1 and we need to make sure that all those uh, breakers that are being tripped off, we need to put back to normal. Okay, now everything is fine. I'm going to proceed on the diesel generator number one and make sure that every everything is in normal condition and I'll go to panel directory, generator control, and uh, we need to put diesel generator number one in priority as well and put it on automatic. So now, there is already a transferring of load, equalizing of load between diesel generator number one and diesel generator number two. Okay, we are finished here. We go back here. So our DG number one is running in diesel oil. So we need to change over it to fuel oil. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that our temperature from our fuel oil system is enough. So I think this is enough and we can click this three-way valve to change it over. Okay. Monitor the parameters, make sure that everything is normal. Okay. So that's it. Now our diesel generator number one is running in fuel and connected to our main bus bar. So that's it. I hope that you've learned something new for today and bye bye.